Hey everybody and welcome back. Today we are continuing with our series with Justice Chalmeshwar of the Supreme Court of India. In today's video we asked him how can students and lawyers decide whether judicial services exam or judiciary is the right career option for them. With so many options available someone would want to join practicing in a court of law or someone would want to join a law firm or a company and what is his message to those who are interested in judicial services exam so how can students and lawyers decide if judiciary is the right option and if he has any message for those who are interested in judicial services exam and without any further delay let's hear what he has to say on this Well, obviously, this generation wants more money. Nothing wrong in making money. The service doesn't offer that kind of money. But, once again, I'll give you an, uh, an anecdote. A friend of mine, who eventually became a high court judge and retired, a, a very scholarly person I would like to name, very well-read uh, man, good lawyer. When the invitation came, he was a little hesitant whether to accept or not. So he asked, by then I was a judge. I was a judge for a couple of years by then. So he came to a very close friend. So he came and asked me, I said, please accept it. Then he said, what is there? I see you are not happy. In the sense, within a couple of years, slowly, all kinds of things. Uh, not that uh, all of us were very happy as judges. We had our own reasons, good or bad reasons for being unhappy. Mm, then he also said, uh, then I'm making some money now, I'll go for all these things. And I told him, look here, apart from the high sounding words of call of duty and thing, just remember if you don't accept, you will give space to somebody who is less accomplished. You will have to go and appear before that person uh, from tomorrow onwards. Even then you will get frustrated. The fellow may not understand what you are saying. Neither your law nor your English <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> so, so I think uh, there is no point in uh, complaining about the system if you are not willing to join the system when invited. You, you can't complain, look here, no, no, the judges are uh, not competent, they don't understand, they are not uh, efficient, they don't decide quickly. You, another friend of mine declined, of a very firmly declined. He said, no, I don't want it. Later, at some point of time, once he mentioned to me that about a particular judge, I that this man uh, simply doesn't understand anything. I'm just breaking my head against the wall. He said, you have no right to complain. When you were invited, you declined. Maybe, <laughs> well, this is what happens. So therefore, uh, an offer comes. Normally, you should take it, unless you have very, very compelling reasons not to accept something like your health or some other commitment which you can't really get over. When an opportunity comes to serve as a judicial officer, you must. It's, remember, it's an honor and uh, it's only a strong and impartial judiciary which can enable all of us to live in dignity in this country. And the existence of such a judiciary depends only upon the willingness of good, competent, uh, upright people getting into the service. <laughs>